sorry guys, give me a sec. Instagram story that Instagram for some reason had a policy for it and it wasn't nothing bad like I wasn't posting nothing like stupid or anything that goes their community line like everyone will say right but it, it caused like like I was trying to go live I think when was it like I think last week around Christmas time and I rented a car and uh hold on uh let me just get my earbuds and stuff uh, I rented a car uh, around Christmas, and uh, bad luck happening. Um, for some reason, um, what should I call it? My life kept freezing, and all I see is like, like, like my life took a picture, basically. Yeah, this app definitely be bugging out. <clears throat> yeah, Instagram is. Just dumb. Hi, my ladies. I see my ladies joining. Love you. All right. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. My God, it's been a while since I did a podcast. I know, me too. <laughs> well, what up? Let me just say, you know, Happy New Year, my BMF Army. It's your favorite Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. You made it. Yeah, we've been made it. live or an actual podcast. December's getting mm-hmm. pretty crazy at my job. Um, nah, I can imagine MSG, the famous arena. <laughs> um, I'm joined today with my returning co-host Jay. Jay, thanks for being here. Well, thank good, you, though. thank you. How was your holidays? Uh, Ah, uh, it was interesting. Uh, it was my first holiday as a stepdad, and it was my first holiday. You know, um, sorry that my camera it's a little blurry. Uh, it was my first holiday as a stepdad, and you know, um, it was it was interesting. And at the same time, like you know, uh, holidays just brings energy of uh, mixed emotions of dealing with not just uh with your relationship but with family as well because you you don't know what was gonna go on what's gonna happen especially anything you plan and but it was very like i said it was very interesting and of course like this holiday was a little bit different for me because uh just recently like i don't want to make this sad because you know the holidays supposed to be like cheerful and happiness 
But it was my first holiday uh, without my godmother. God rest her soul. You know, she passed away almost two weeks That's ago. Okay. So um, it was a little bit, appreciate that. And it was a little bit different for me because she was my birth mother, best friend, as anyone knows, or anyone that hears the show before. And then you guys know that me and being my goddess have something in common. Yeah, we both lost our moms um, in the most very, very stressful disease that not everybody can understand and, and know what it could, what the outcome could be when it comes to a disease like cancer. So my godmother also passed away from cancer. So, uh, so it was different. But the holidays, you know, it, it brings joy, but it also brings memories of, you know, the people that were there and. You can't really share that moment no more because you know they they are not there anymore. But it was interesting. It was different, and all I can say is that you know as long as our 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 health is still there and our families are still you know are are importantly still there too, and we just have to keep moving forward. That's what the holiday is about too: is for us to keep moving forward and try to find the positive in things. So right. how was your holiday? The holidays, I mean, I spent a lot of time working, but other than that, it was very just chill. I mean, we're in the height of this pandemic again, and really don't want to be around too many people, so yeah, that's relaxing at home. Yeah, that's, that's another thing, too. Um, I don't know when when people could start having like that that normal ritual uh traditional family holiday again because you know it's different you know especially last year i think if if you think about it last year was was technically our first holiday with the pandemic uh made a huge impact to us you know from 2020 to 2021 and the whole 2021 was challenging uh for us to know that is this pandemic ever going to like die down? And, and as clearly it didn't because, you know, during the holidays, it was hard to be with anybody or especially if you have to work because you don't know when tomorrow could bring, like tomorrow people could go back to work finally normally or the, the city might shut down again and we might not work until COVID calms it down again. So we don't know. Because um, I know for sure COVID is never going to go away. This this is basically our new flu now. Like, the flu basically ain't shit to us anymore. And now COVID is, is our new seasonal virus that now we're all aware of. But now it, it's still something that we shouldn't be underestimating. Because, you know, like, uh, my mom has... Like, you know, I don't like putting my whole family business out there. But my mom who raised me, uh, her and my sister and my stepdad have COVID. So imagine how they feel their first holiday quarantine at home. That's something I, I understand and know what that means because I had to go through that last year. Last year, quarantine from Christmas to New Year's because I ended up catching COVID last year. So it's it's hard to, to try to plan anything for the holidays, especially when COVID is around. You know, so I'm just hoping anybody that, you know, that really couldn't do much for the holiday, you know, I understand completely. And let's just hope next year we can finally start traveling and seeing all our family members when COVID really doesn't affect us anymore like that. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Cause yeah, we'll see. Waiters. And it's constantly changing. Yeah, Everything's, exactly. you know, the guidelines are changing all the time. It's because, you know, we haven't got it together and we're a long way. We're a long way. Yeah. Anyway. It's very, very different. You guys don't have to be quiet either. You know, converse with us. We'll, we'll check. Nah, 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 nah. Right. Said she was alone for Christmas because of COVID, too. Yeah, yeah. I remember she, she was posting on uh, her story that. Yeah, she posted on her story that she was positive. So I'm very sorry that you had to go through that. Like I said, it, it sucks because uh, last year, while I was getting drunk and enjoying the time, it was New Year's. Ooh. I 
that was a bad. We will support From my side, from my. No, I mean, not as much, but from my side, but from my side of the people that I know, like my friends and family, I saw them, they were actually having a good time and they were still seeing other family because that's when everybody was starting to get like vaccinated and stuff, whatever. And COVID wasn't as much as it, like it wasn't getting serious the way how it's getting serious now because you know about the variant, the Omicron, can't, can't, like it's just... It, it shows like the difference when well, last year we were approving and this year we're going back to how COVID started two years ago. So in reality, like, you know, I'm sorry that, you know, we all had to go through that. And, you know, like I said, last year, like I saw people with family and actually was trying to enjoy them times. Like I saw, my, like I remember my sister went to Florida. Um, my my brother-in-law, you know, he was having a good time with his parents and stuff, but he had to work. And, you know, my cousins and stuff, they were going from Jersey to Maryland. Like, everybody was enjoying their time. And I kept the secret because I didn't want people to worry. But me and my father was just in bed, like, knocked out most of the time. We didn't want to talk to anybody. So it, it really sucks. It sucks that, you know... The people that had, like end up getting COVID this year during the holidays, it really sucks. Like I know that feeling. Like you really can't do shit. You, you have to stay away from people. Yeah. For, for not just yeah, like every week we were missed. So we were like half staff. We was shorter and shorter staff, and mm-hmm. it just it just kept getting around. Like most of my coworkers spend the holidays uh, sick too. That yeah, sucks. Uh, uh, really, really sucks. Really sucks to go through that. But you know, like I said, we don't we don't know what's gonna happen. Let's hope things you know get better. Boom, that like uh, and like I said, I always respect everybody's opinions. And, yeah, if you guys don't don't want to or do want to get vaccinated or not, that's you know that's on you. And if you are vaccinated, you want to get the booster shot, that's on you. But. Our main thing is, I don't you know, really get into that debate either. It's like, you know, no, no. keep their own. All I say is that if you're feeling sick and you have symptoms, don't fucking go around other people. No, I was just like, yeah, I was getting to that. I was getting to that. Like, because, you know, it, it, it's not just people are doing that. Yeah, because, like, for instance, like, um, a boy that I just saw live in, uh, he told me yesterday, like, that, like, happening, his brother got sick and ended up being positive, and he was around them, like, him and his parents. And just, like, you know, in my opinion, like, look, if you don't feel well, just don't... Like, it's not, it's not just about COVID either, because people tend to remember that, you know, the flu season is still around. Like, people still could catch the flu. People can still catch a common cold. Just, you know... Try to heal yourself before you meet anybody because those viruses still exist and that's what caused COVID to come after you more because, you know, that's a virus that we still don't, not not everybody in this world are still 100% immune to it. You know, people that, people that are immune to COVID already, they might not feel it and stuff, but they'll still pass it on. Like, you know, I don't agree and disagree with the mask or whatever, but people, you know, if you don't feel well, just stay away from everyone. Not Don't do it just for you, but do it for others. To others to say, because you also forgot that now we're getting more of the virus faster. Our kids, why? Because yeah. the hundred percent hospitals are and hundred percent of them, <laughs> like ninety five percent, and and ninety five percent of those kids are not vaccinated. And I'm not saying that's that's just a different like mindset of the vaccination, but. Think about the kids. These kids, our immune system are not as strong as adults. Like adults, we go through viruses. We go through bacteria from from young age to an adult. We we get used to it. But for kids, they're, they're still learning and adapting from viruses, from flu, from COVID, from the common cold, from stomach viruses. They, they, they Their health is, is going to be riskier, you know? So listen, I'm saying this not just because... Oh, oh, because he's a stepdad and stuff. No, it's just in general. Be cautious with all of these kids because you don't know what could bring tomorrow to them. They're they're still young. They're they're not their immune system is not as strong as ours right now. You know they they need to learn how to adapt and get healthier. So when they are old enough, 
like when they're 16, 17, 18 years old, their bodies are already like strong enough to be handling all these viruses, you know? Even when you're 21 years old, some of these viruses are still new to your body. And your immune system is still growing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I honestly, I think that they should be home, like doing remote. Um, well, I thought children spread germs way faster than us. I just that's true. He just got a, a new mayor, you know, he's in office now, so we'll see what happens. Oh, is that the Blanche no more? No, where you been? <laughs> yeah, listen. I, I tell people, I tell, I tell people sometimes, I don't give a fuck about the process no more because they, they still fuck up. Like they, they, the day I see, the day I see, the day I see that, I, I actually like, in my opinion, like, yeah, I do care, but sometimes I don't. Like I was fucking with my family the other day. I was telling my family, shut up. I was, just, I was just telling my family the other fucking day. Like I'm a Republican. They're like, why are you a Republican? And I'm like, you know why I'm a Republican? Why? I'm saying it because I'm not saying I'm an actual Republican. I'm saying it like in my own terms, in a new way, saying I'm a Republican because I... Those times when you get up early and you work... Supposedly facts. Not everything is facts. It's just they're saying... Like, you know, honestly... For instance, let me just point this out. People say, oh, if you don't get vaccinated, you're going to die. Oh, but if you get vaccinated, you're going to die in four years. No matter what, everything is still a manipulation. Everything is still to fear you. Why do you have to fear everyone? You don't need to fear nobody. And all honestly, oh, it, it just let them go by their own instinct. My instinct, they didn't trust it. But then my instinct told me, go for it. Same goes with BMF, BMF. She follows her instinct. She follows her instinct in life because she knows what's best for her. The way I see it, the government, you know, the way, you know, they exceed us in many levels because they could, they could have just been like, hey, we got a new uh, shot that we give everybody and this is going to be for whatever. And they could have dressed it up as anything else. They didn't need to start a pandemic to do that. There's so many other ways they could have got whatever they wanted in us or whatever they wanted, period. Look, in all honesty, every virus started with animals, and then it evolved to finally start attacking humans. That's just Mother Nature itself sometimes. He said people get vaccinated and still get COVID and die. Correct. Because it's called a vaccine, but it is not a cure. Okay? It is to help build your immunity against it. Yes, you can still catch it, and, and like... Like you said, again. When people say that, like, oh, when people are vaccinated. Everybody is so different because nobody's system is the same. It is still relatively new, which is why I don't fault the people. I don't fault you guys who don't want to get it. That's your choice. Trust me, if, if, if I found out that the most of the jobs that I applied for were mandatory with vaccines. I would have never got vaccinated. If the Barclay Center and MSG says you can't go in there without the vaccine, I would have never got vaccinated. Listen, for me being vaccinated, my dream came true. All right, I went to Mark Anthony. That I've been wanting to go for years, my whole entire life. I always wanted to go see that nigga fucking perform, and he performed beautifully. All right. I always wanted to go to a USC event and BMF saw how hype I was at her job. I was there. <laughs> I was out there because I'm a fighter myself. But if I would have never got vaccinated, I would have never experienced none of that. I would have let, let that shit go by. Why? Because I was rebellious. Sometimes being rebellious is never the answer. That's that's what that's what we're trying to tell you. Like the re being rebellious doesn't mean stop being rebellious. Stop believing what you believe. It's just look at look at the other side of, of, of your own way sometimes. Don't ever look at it your way all the time. I took my vaccine at the very big well, not the very beginning. I think it was like three months in. Like April, May. And uh we're on the next year already. I think about nine months ago, so I'm here. 
have all my hands. I'm actually, I took the antibodies test. So my immunity is really high. Uh, my immune system is very strong and I'm, I'm okay. So what now? Look, my girl's brother-in-law felt like shit when she took the two vaccine. He felt like crap. Me, the you know, first twice, the first two times I took it, I was just sleepy. And that just proves that I'm everyone's body sleepy. is different. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's not the same. Everyone is well, different. I still believe I'm not human. You know, the way how my body reacts to a lot of shit. I still believe I'm not human. Talk about forever. <laughs> you know, I, I still believe that I'm an alien. And my beard grows differently than everybody else, you know. Sure, because we're not like the rest. <laughs> yeah, you know, who knows, you know. The muggles. Those are the muggles. Who knows, man? You know? I'm we're probably God. Mind. I'm probably God. Y'all don't know about it. You know, you know yeah, I'm next price. I'm next price. Right. <laughs> I'm right. on Facebook, somebody from China, they're going to tell me, oh, I'm quarantined right now. That actually, I want to see how clear they are from it. Yeah. You know, the news lie all the time, man. I, I always tell you about that. The news lie all the time. And, all right, can we get the elephant out of the room? Uh, and this might sound funny. Everyone's going to start joking your ass. But does anybody realize that this new variant name they put, they were saying it was Omarion, but in reality it was Omicron, you dumb fucks, go back to language arts or go back to fucking writing and learn how to spell or pronounce shit. But it's called Omicron. And doesn't that shit sound like a transformer? Like we're going to transform into a green little goo virus because it's a fucking it's virus now? It's a virus. I think it, it, it's rather fitting, I guess. It's rather fitting. It sounds like a Decepticon. And Decepticon is here, and the nigga's going to end up telling me, yo, Megatron is coming, and we're going to take all of the fucking human race. Like, it does sound like that. Like, I'm a nerd. You know, every time I hear some names like that, I think automatically... Transformers and shit. Like, that shit sounds crazy. Omicron. That sounds like the Eternals is finally here and shit. So, fuck. No, they be coming up with some weird names. They come up with names for hurricanes and viruses, like, like they just had a new baby and shit. Well, then New York will continue to lose people for ignorance, and that's what they want. Anyway, for population control so people can continue to catch COVID and fight for their lives. I found it. Uh, so, this is Google saying the, the statistics in China, they're averaging about a hundred, about 200, uh, 200 to 250 cases of Corona a day, which is far less than us, but still it's there. <laughs> I know a lot of these cases are not going to be gone. There's still going to be cases. Well, like, look at the summer. Between look 6 and 8,000 people a week in China. Dude. More poor Chinese people. <laughs> More poor Chinese people. You're not only going through that, but, you know, ever since we had ex-president Trump, who started this race for war against the Asian people. And they're still going to that as well, all the, the, the violence against them, all the hatred. And, which is I don't terrible. know why I hate them. Have you seen their food? Their food is fucking bang. You can't hate I'm, a culture. I'm serious, that has, like, you can't hate a culture. It's really you know, it's disgraceful. It's really disgraceful. You know what? I think the last news story I seen, this guy just bashed this Asian woman in the head like she's a, she was in a coma for no reason. Just walked up to her, bashed her in the head because she was Asian. <laughs> she's a, an old woman, an old woman, somebody's grandmother. Like it's just it's disgusting. Uh, uh, now, 
On a serious note, am I gorgeous or BMF is gorgeous? I just want to know. Shut up. Um, I don't want to know who compliments that for because, you know, thank you, you know. Oh, somebody um, said that. So I'm like, what? Well, right. And like, well, thank you. Read the comments. You got to keep up with that. Come on. Yeah, I was reading the comments. Yeah, but they lo- they're not losing seven to 800 people a week like us. You got a point, Eli. You got a point. You got a point. Well, the whole situation, like the comment he put about how New York is losing population, We've been doing that shit even before the virus came. Like, here's the thing that no one really, never realized. When it comes to the shootings and all that other shit, uh, in my opinion, that, that was already losing population of the, of the world. You know, they, like, no matter what the government wants to do, that, that's their opinion. Everybody has different opinions with their conspiracy theories and shit. But at the end of the day, the population do, don't need a virus. You know, we, we lose population by terrorism, by all that other bullshit that we got to go see, through. in all my podcasts, I try to steer away from the conspiracy theory crap because really, yeah, it's going to be stupid in the world and there's plenty of it and it's not my job to stop very stupid. But... The government definitely does not need a virus to control us. Like, you've been taking these vaccines, everything, your whole fucking life. You put worse shit in your body, in fact, out of it. And all this, nobody knows nothing. Not even the people who took the vaccine. I took the vaccine, I don't know. I could have died, I don't know. I could be, I could be dying, who knows? Nobody fucking knows, so shut up. Eli, you're right about the grandson vibes. But I'm gonna, I wanna say something, Eli, when you just said just now. Uh, what's up? Well, he wrote, uh, you're right about the about that. Granted, but this is an excuse to take people out now. And all honesty, it, it, why do they need that excuse? Out. Yeah, anything can take. Look, look, me and my father was talking about this on my godmother's funeral. And do I believe every virus that we end up getting were man-made? Yes, I do believe that. But that's another story to tell. But at the end of the day, it's all about... It's, sorry. Uh-huh. Sorry, guys. Sorry guys, because I'm starting a new job this week and I thought I was supposed to start tomorrow, but I'm starting Tuesday. Thank you. So my dad was just informing me what we have to do in our job. Uh, so I apologize for that, for instance, interruption. But um, no, what? Well, you know, what I was saying is, things things are going to happen the next day. No, it doesn't matter, virus or not. You know who's in control with our lives when we're born to the end? Life itself. If you don't believe in God and God, but life itself controls that. The government's not going to do anything. The government wants to pop, unpopulate or populate anything. That's on their decision. That's, that, that's, that's on them. They're listening to us right now. Yeah. And you don't listen to the government sometimes? You don't have to do the creation of virus. Why? Listen, listen. You know what I'm saying? We're not the only ones suffering from this. The economy, that there are, there are, <laughs> how, there are countless things that are being affected by this. If you really think about it, why, why, do you water? why go through this much trouble? To get rid of some people. Exactly. Exactly. Like, if you want to talk about depopulating, or you want to talk about getting rid of people. Why? (laughs) You want to get rid of them? Then, if you want to go back to that, then think about the flu season 100 years ago. You know? Think about about 9-11. They still have no cure for it. <laughs> and, th- and, and think about 9-11 think about AIDS that, that, like you said there's no cure for none of them shit if they were if they were cured 
and they don't want to give it out, that's just on them. You know, Magic honestly. Got the cure, okay. Huh? Magic got the cure. Magic got the cure, right? Shit. But that's magic. He had money, that bastard. But he's the best. Hall of Famer. And I respect him. But can we clear this up, everybody, before we continue with all this shit? Because, you know, this is really not getting anywhere. But in all honesty, can we talk about the legend, the legacy? We lost the most amazing actress in the world, Betty White. Like, what's what, what everybody's opinion that I really thought she was going to make it to 100. I had my money that she was gonna make it to 100, everybody. So, what do you think about that? We lost the most funniest old sweet woman that I've seen. We lost her, guys. Come on. I don't know. The more you think about it, who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? All I know is that I have bills and I gotta pay the motherfuckers. So, I need to work and I don't need to be sick. And I need to get into work and be allowed to work, and that's it. And for most of us, that's just what it is. Uh, it's gonna happen. Just say, everybody else. Just, think, just think about this. If it is what you're, what you're, what you feel that it is. Why are they giving you the, op the, the option to do what they're asking you to do? Right now, it's not like they're forcing you, they're not forcing you to do anything. They're giving you the option. No, I'll honestly, that's just... And, and like I said, agree or disagree, whatever what's going on out there in the world no one in reality no one really has control or answers for it because tomorrow is like um like always tomorrow's a mystery yesterday was history it's a rabbit hole that's it <laughs> it keeps it's going down yeah so, but here's the thing yeah i don't see what you said uh, you gotta read it. Not oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you uh, just they, they ain't giving you no options. You can't work or do anything unless you get a vaccine. Uh, and to be honest, bro. That's what I'm saying, it, though. That's your, that's your choice. That, that is an option you because, look. You're like, listen, you taking this and that's it, or you getting, or you getting killed. It could be that too. I'm not advocating for the government by any means. I'm just saying, I'm thinking about it from all directions, not just this is what they must be up to. I'm going to I'm 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 be clear with this, look. Vaccinated or not, you don't believe in it. Look, I'm going to be one of those. I'm going to say this. You know, we lied, bro. We lied. We lied, bro. There's no script. You know, I fuck up. You know? So, um, uh, um, so at the end of the day, you also have the options. You have the option of being employed or be unemployed. That's on you because, yes, I'm one of those people. You guys are being mad. Yes, anybody that's close to me. I didn't want to get the fucking vaccine. I don't think all vaccine. jobs are mandatory yet. Yeah. I don't think all yeah. jobs are mandatory. Uh, it just depends if you're dealing with people. I think if you're dealing with customers and stuff, then yeah, they actually do mandatory that. But also, because my construction job that I'm doing, the boss hasn't got vaccinated, and we're working with him. But listen, he's paying me. He, he I gotta get paid. Like you said yourself, we got bills to pay, we got rent to pay. No one's gonna pay that. The government's not gonna help you with that no more, unless they decide to help you again. Because now the shit is getting bad again, and we're and people are losing jobs again because people are getting positive in COVID. Okay, then we might catch a break again, like we did two years ago. But that doesn't stop us from working. We still need to work because you know who else? What, what people are not going to help you with? They're not going to help you feed your family. They're not going to help you feed you. You're not going to feed yourself. I got help. Pay my dues. Pay my, my the, the pay back with taxes and stuff. What I need to help for. And I deserve the help because I've been paying taxes all my life. But at the end of the day, it helped me feed my family. It helped me feed me. It helped me have a roof over my head. It helped. Yes, it, it stressed us out. But at the end of the day, 
I didn't want to get vaccinated, but I did it. Why? Because I also wanted to enjoy my life too. I wanted to go to the movies. I want to have a nice restaurant, uh, restaurant dinner with, with my girl. I wanted to take my kids out and I'm not going to punish them by not having fun and adventurous time just because I wasn't vaccinated. That's unfair to them. So I, ha I did it because I looked at it in the way like, you know what? I'm going to just fucking get it over with because it, it, it it's giving me less options if I don't do it. I'm fucking myself over because I didn't want to do it. And again, these mandates are only in New York City because we have the highest number of people who want to rebel. No, they don't. Not even in New Jersey, which is right next door to us. Nobody else has these same mandates. It's us. It's mm -hmm. us. And it's because nobody wants to cooperate. Just think for an instance that they are doing this because they want the numbers to go down. That too. Now, but Eli, you wrote. Look at what Eli wrote. Doesn't want to. So, here we are again. And look what Eli wrote. Dan, if you're not seeing what's going on, I'm going to leave it alone. It's been a nice talk. I'm, like I said, this is agreement. This is an agree or disagree. Exactly. Like, it's not, I enjoy it's the meeting. I'm fine with that. If you're trying to change my mind, not going to happen. Like I said, I'm not advocating for the government. I don't know what's going on any more than you do. And I'm going to put it this way. I don't just trust look at all the facts around me, not just... There gotta be something going on because we're being forced to do this. That's a one. That's like a one way. Like I have an open mind. That's the Eli. You see things in one track. Hey Eli, and read this. Who who's this? Jen Jen wrote this, and this is what people need to understand. Because I'm in NYC, all we want to do is do us. How are we gonna do that when people aren't being proactive in our lives? Th that's what we're trying to basically say. Like, basically, we're trying to say that, look, trust me, DMF will tell you, I hate the government. I don't fucking, I haven't voted since the first trial Obama fucking did president. So, everyone knows I hate the government. But, it, I'm, I'm not the only one that hates them and shit, but at the end of the day, what we're gonna do? What, you want us to go back to go to the Civil War when rebellious versus the politics? Like, no, we're not gonna go back to that, because one, that, that will end the world right away because of how technology advanced and how people advance, we're all gonna die. Not, not just us or the government, we're all gonna die. That point, point blank of my opinion on that. But at the end of the day, I get it. Did you wanna be rebellious? Trust me, DMF will tell you. And she herself, we're both rebellious people. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean we're against you because we choose to do what we, we, what we gotta do for ourselves. Doesn't mean we're against you. And that's what a lot of people are saying. Look at it in other people's perspective. What I'm saying is I'm not on no side. I'm on the side that needs to continue living my life. And okay, this is what y'all saying. Like like you said, we gotta make a living. That's the side that I'm on. I'm on I'm just trying to live. Whatever is it, yeah. And I just I get Yeah, he wrote I get everything you guys are saying, but and so people stand up for themselves. This is always going to be the same. No, I agree with you 100% on that part. People need to stand up for themselves. People need to be more vocal, be more open and stuff. But not everybody's going to be... Not, here's one thing that I need everyone to understand. You're you. BMS is BMS. I'm, 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 I'm Jay. No, no, no. What I mean to agree is that people can defend themselves, yes. But... I would say, what I was trying to say is, not everyone has the same mindset. Not everyone thinks alike. That, that's one thing you have to understand. I, like I said, I'm one of those people that don't agree with this vaccine. I, I thought this vaccine was just a fucking setup, but I did it. Regardless, I did it. Why? Because I need my job. I need work. I need food. I need this. I need everything, not just for me, as everyone heard from the beginning of the podcast, I'm a father. I have two beautiful kids that I gotta watch out for, not just their mom, not just their mom. They have their dads, yes, agree or disagree, they're not around all the time, but now they're my responsibility because they're working 90% of the time every day. 
So I got to make sure they're fat. They have money in their pocket. So when they want to have lunch for school and stuff, me and my girl are responsible for that. If we were not vaccinated and we couldn't work because we're not vaccinated, that was oh. our decision and our repercussion of dealing with the consequences because why? Because we want to agree with everybody else or we want to have because we no, it's not about that. You got to understand that not everyone's going to give a fuck about what you're doing at home with your family. And that's what we're trying to explain. We're trying to explain agree or disagree or an opinion or whatever, but we're also trying to explain whatever the government wants to do or whatever the virus is about. Think of it this way. Because some people weren't vaccinated, not everybody was with their family in the holidays. Not everybody was with their family. And that's heartbreaking. There was people that actually wanted to have fun, enjoy themselves for Christmas and New Year. Not everybody couldn't because of this virus. So, Genius, what Gina, let me stop you for a sec. Hold on. Gina said, thank you. I have all the shots and I need to live. I need to relax too, but I need to make money. I work in the health field and people aren't going to let you in without the shots, which sucks. I feel you. Nothing. But, like I said, these are all from different people's supposedly facts. Not everything is facts. It's just they're saying, like, you know, honestly, for instance, let me just point this out. People say, oh, if you don't get vaccinated, you're going to die. Oh, but if you get vaccinated, you're going to die in four years. No matter what, everything is still a manipulation. Everything is still to fear you. Why do you have to fear everyone? You don't need to fear nobody. And all honestly, oh, it, just let them go by their own instinct. My instinct didn't trust it, but then my instinct told me, go for it. Same goes with BMF, BMF. She follows her instinct. She follows her instinct in life because she knows what's best for her. The way they see it, the government, you know, their weight, you know, they exceed us in many levels because they could they could have just been like, hey, we got a new uh, shot that we give everybody and this is going to be for whatever. And they could have dressed it up as anything else. They didn't need to start a pandemic to do that. There's so many other ways they could have got whatever they wanted in us or whatever they wanted, period. Look, in all honesty, every virus started with animals, and then it evolved to finally start attacking humans. That's just mother nature itself sometimes. He said people get vaccinated and still get COVID and die. Correct. Because it's called a vaccine, but it is not a cure. Okay? It is to help build your immunity against it. Yes, you can still catch it. Again. When people say that, like, oh, when people are vaccinated. Everybody is reacting to it different because nobody's system is the same. It is still relatively new, which is why I don't fault the people. I don't fault you guys who don't want to get it. That's your choice. No, 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 no. Trust me, if, if, if I found out that the most of the jobs that I applied for were in mandatory with vaccines, I would have never got vaccinated. If the Barclays Center and MSG says you can't go in there without the vaccine, I would have never got vaccinated. Listen, for me being vaccinated, my dream came true, all right? I went to Mark Anthony. Now, I've been wanting to go for years, my whole entire life. I always wanted to go see that nigga fucking perform, and he performed beautifully, all right? I always wanted to go to a USC event and BMF saw how hype I was at her job. I was oh. dead. <laughs> I was a fan because I'm a fighter myself. But if I would have never got vaccinated, I would have never experienced none of that. I would have let, let that shit go by. Why? Because I was rebellious. Sometimes being rebellious is never the answer. That's that's what that's what we're trying to tell you. Like the re being rebellious doesn't mean stop being rebellious. Stop believing what you believe. It's just look at look at the other side of, of, of your own way. Sometimes don't ever look at it your way all the time. I took my vaccine at the very be well, not the very beginning. I think it was like three months in, like April, May. And uh, we're on the next year already. I think about nine months.
months ago, so I'm here. I have all my limbs. I'm actually, I took the antibody test. My immunity is really high. Uh, my immune system is very strong, and I'm, I'm okay. So, what now? Look, my girl's brother in law felt like shit when she took the two vaccines. He felt like crap. Me, the first twice, the first two times I took it, I was just sleepy. And that just proves that everyone's body is different. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's not the same. Everyone is no, different. I still believe I'm not human. You know, the way I'm a body reacts to a lot of shit. I still believe I'm not human. Talk about forever. <laughs> you know, I, I still believe that I'm an alien. You know? I don't fucking age. My beard grows differently than everybody else. You know? Sure, because we're not like the rest. <laughs> yeah. You know? Who knows? You know? The muggles. Those are the muggles. Who knows, man? I'm probably God. I'm probably God. Y'all don't know about it. No. You know, I'm next price. I'm next price. All right. I'm next price. Thank you for being here today with us, Jay. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. The baby for chatting with us. I hope you don't look at us any different for our opinions. And like I said, and if you do, and if you do, go fuck yourself. That's it. Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm gonna say what I say because that's what that's how I feel. You guys have your own feelings, and that's just what it is. So thank you. Subscribe to BMF Goddess on YouTube. Jay, thanks again. He'll be back. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you for having me on. And like I said, guys, follow, follow, man. Sooner or later, this Instagram live is gonna be over. Sooner or later, she's gonna go live on YouTube. On a studio podcast soon, you know, soon, soon.